Kotaku, I don't know, they just speak to me. So today, the article that we chose to talk about is comparing games from 20 years ago, 10 years ago, and today. This article came out on Kotaku, and it's basically stacking up and taking a look at how games, like, I guess, genres or types of games that people play today have changed over time. And you know what's crazy is I'm just using this as a placeholder. I do think it's funny that uh, they there's no real, like, we should have put a Steam emblem on there. So let's get into this article, guys. <laughs> All right, this one's an interesting one. Here's how today's best-selling games compare to those from 20 years ago. Mind you, I was I was I started playing games in 1994, so it's been like 30 years I've been playing games. Oh my god, I feel old thinking about that. Uh, 2004, back when the top-selling game games included stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh, Driver, and Shrek. All right, let's get into it. Today's most popular and best-selling games often include expensive first-party title exclusives, big multiplayer hits, and aging titles such as GTA V that stick around years after launch. This is the thing when it comes to GTA V, though, is the fact that it came out on the Xbox 360, and then Xbox One, and then, of course, Xbox Series X. PS3, PS4, PS5. It's lasted three generations. And we're still a whole over a year out from potentially getting GTA 6, which is mind-boggling to me. On Wednesday, Matt, Executive Director uh, and Video Game Industry Advisor at uh, Circana, posted an image on Twitter showing the best-selling video games of July 2014 and July 20, 2004. The data from 10 years ago is interesting, especially because a lot of the games like Mario Kart 8, Minecraft, and GTA were the big uh, were big back then and still on the bestseller list of 2024. That, to me, is kind of mind-boggling. So let's take a look at this list. This is uh, July 2014 Top 20 Premium Software Titles. So, of course, during this time, The Last of Us had just come out. FIFA is always going to be on there. Um, Watch Dogs, uh, Watch Dogs was kind of, a, a controversial title, shall we say, during this time, because it didn't look like what we got today, like what was actually released. Mario Kart 8, Minecraft, Nuff said, GTA 5 had been out, what, less than a year at this point, Call of Duty Ghost, always going to be up there, Sniper Elite 3, UFC, 2K, Battlefield 4, Wolfenstein, The New Order, Titanfall, which I believe came out the year prior, which, if you guys didn't know, Titanfall is actually the game that Apex is uh, spun off of. We got ourselves the Lego video game movie, I mean, Lego movie video game. By the way, Lego movie is an amazing movie. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Which, in my opinion, is probably the best Assassin's Creed there, game there is. Pokemon XY, um, Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, Injustice, Gods Among Us. That's actually a really... like The story for Injustice is amazing. FIFA World Cup Brazil and MLB The Show. Which, it doesn't show, uh, surprise me because how many of these are sports titles? So we got one, um, two, three... Um, four, five. So five out of the 20 are sports titles, which I'm surprised because this is from July of 2014. So Madden set to come out in August because Madden always comes out in August. Anyways, but we're really here to look at July 2004's data as provided a 20 year capsule of video game industry and how different the two decades are. So here's the list. So let's take a look at this list from 2004 and it really makes me wonder how many of these are going to be sports titles? First one right off the rip. NCAA football 2005. Okay. I'm wondering how our list is going to stack up for today's games. Spider-Man 2, which I believe this Spider-Man one is supposedly one of the best like adaptations for a video game. NFL 2K5, uh, which doesn't surprise me because I will say that the NFL 2K games were amazing until, of course, EA Sports locked down the Madden titles. Driver, okay, Tales of Symphonia, Shrek, 
Because it kind of surprised me Tell Symphonia is so high up there because that's a JRPG. MVP Baseball 2004, so that's our third sports title. Harry Potter, that's a, another tie-in. So we got Spider-Man 2 and we got Shrek 2 and Harry Potter. So that's three movie titles. Um, Splinter Cell, Pandora's Tomorrow. That's actually a really good game. Um, Pokemon, Ruby Sapphire, which is always going to be on there. Halo Combat Evolved, which really surprises me that Halo Combat Evolved is on the list for 2004, considering it came out, I want to say, two years prior to that. Need for Speed Underground, amazing game. Mega Man Anniversary Collection, doesn't surprise me. Red Dead Revolver, that's right, that game is that old. Yu-Gi-Oh! Fight Night, so that's another sports title, so that's one, two, three, four sports titles. Mega Man Battle Network, The Sims, five sports styles. We got ourselves PGA Tour, and then Legend of Zelda, Four Swords. I also think during this time as well, there was more, definitely more consoles. Because if you look at it nowadays, all you have is the PlayStation, you have the Xbox, and of course the Nintendo Switch. And for the most part, everything that comes out for the Xbox is going to come out on the PC. It's going to, for the most part, come out on the PlayStation. Um, but if you look at this, like, that's all platforms, all platforms, all platforms. I think that's like PlayStation 2, Xbox, I believe all platforms, Shrek 2 is all. But then you get into Pokemon Ruby Sapphire, that's Game Boy Advance. Um, and then on top of that, the Four Swords, Game Boy Advance. So you 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 got some games on here, and I, I think this Yu-Gi-Oh! game is the Game Boy Advance as well. So it just kind of surprises me that there's there's actually quite a few on here, I believe, that are strictly handhelds only. Anyways, the first thing that stands out in the game at the top is n not a Call of Duty, a Grand Theft Auto, or even a big RPG or fantasy, fantasy action game. I thought Tales of Symphonia was a JRPG. Maybe I'm tripping. Hey, uh, nope. It's EA Sports NCAA 2005. It's been a very long time since this happened, but the recent college football game from EA, the first one in over a decade, is exploding and might end up the top uh, at the top of July 2024's list, which I would not be surprised if the NCAA football for this year in 2024, I think it's been like, 13, 14 years since there's been one that's come out. Or, anyways, um, I would not be surprised if it rules the top of the charts for a while. And if it's not a, you know, a big staple, especially come holiday season. Meanwhile, Shrek 2 is a licensed action game based on the animated movie is in the top 10, beating out like Red Dead, Red, Dead, Red Dead Revolver, which by the way, you guys, Red Dead Revolver was not made by Rockstar. It's its own standalone. Need for Speed Underground and Splinter Cell Pandora is tomorrow. Uh, I can't remember the last time a movie tie-in cracked the top, uh, the top charts. And hey, look at that. Mega Man, Driver, Yu-Gi-Oh! are all in the top 22. It's a true, uh, truly a different era back then, huh? It definitely is because I think that if looking at this list compared to even the list for 2014, there I would say there's more diversity when it comes to the titles. And on top of that, I would say a lot more of these titles um, are more kid oriented, I guess you could say. And comparing this old uh, this old list of May 2024's best selling games, it's unclear. Well, while it's clear that while a lot has changed, some things stay the same. Baseball games sell well, and people still like Spider-Man sequels. Let's take a look. So this is the list for this year. Ghost of Tsushima, which I think, not it's not I think, I know. Ghost of Tsushima is the top of this list right now because this was a PlayStation exclusive title that did finally crack into Steam. You got a Paper Mario game for the Switch. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. It actually kind of surprises me that's in the top three. I'm surprised it is on a little bit lower. Helldivers, which I'm surprised is still at number four. We got our first sports game, MLB The Show. Sea of Thieves. The, I think the Sea of Thieves is only high up there because it did just come up, come out on the PlayStation. Minecraft, Elden Ring, Hogwarts, Stellar Blade, F 
Fallout 4, EA Sports FC 24, Spider-Man, Homeworld 3. I've never even heard of Homeworld 3. Mario Kart 8, which it ranked number 15. But if we scroll up here to 2014, Mario Kart 8 was number 4. Man, there are quite a few. Uh, Madden 24, which I believe just came out. Rise of the Ronin, F1, Mortal Kombat. Um, let's see. How many of these are from 2000? Because we got Mario Kart 8, which of course was on the other one. Minecraft, which I don't foresee Minecraft going anywhere anytime soon. And I'm surprised GTA is not on here, truth be told. But it is interesting to look back on data from different... I guess eras, 2004, 2014 to 2024, and basically the same month on top of that um, while we look at how games perform and where they're coming from to where they are today. Let's go full screen. Anyways, you guys, hopefully you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, it is interesting, like, a, like I was just saying, to see time capsules from different areas different genres different ages and compare the two because i would have never thought about that thank you kotaku that's probably the only guy thing like kotaku's really good at it's just the random articles where i could sit down ramble about some stuff and on top of that being there for the 2004 2014 and 2024 and being able to enjoy games like i do anyways you guys don't forget to mash that like button subscribe we're on our way to 8,000 we just hit 7,900 I can't do this stuff without you guys you guys are awesome keep doing what you're doing till next time I'll catch you later